Welcome back guys. So we're going on to the Crab Warden boss now, the Crab Warden boss on chapter 5. And this is perhaps one of the... If you're going through hard mode, chronologically, you know, from chapter 1 onwards, this is probably the most complicated boss you've come up against at the moment. And it's mainly because there's so many parts of this boss you can actually attack and each one affects its stagger gauge differently, stuns it differently, pressure it differently, and it summons minions as well. Um, but this way I'm going to show you, it, it will sort of work step by step, you know, I can sort of tell you, right, at this point, do this, <laughs> at this point, then do this. And it should work smoothly, as long as you've got a sort of similar statistics as mine, because if your statistics are a little bit different, you may pressure them a bit quicker, you may take it a bit longer, and if that happens, then this may not work the same for you. Because it's very important the time it takes you to pressure him, you know, how much damage you do with each tag. It's it's really important we're coming out coming up with like a step by step consistent strategy. Right, so first of all guys, yeah, I had to take a minute there to explain that. Um so battle settings, I've got cloud going first, and these are weapons I'm using. It's gonna be very important that I show you their upgrade tree as well. So Mithril Sabre. I've not got any of the manuscripts, by the way, on hard, except for the ones up to chapter 5. So, power core 1, I've got all everything except for d uh, magic defense. Power core 2, got elemental material damage and attack power plus 5. That's all I've got on sub core 1. Uh, sub core 2, I've got everything apart from the defense and the MP regeneration. And sub core 3, I've got everything except for that last material slot. So, that's Cloud, Mithril, Saber. Barret, we've got EK EKG Cannon. We're using with Barrett and with him. First one, I've not gone with the critical by the way because critical again it's inconsistent if you get critical or not, and that's going to change this quite a lot. So just bear that in mind by the way. If you get critical at all or anything, it may change this a little bit. You may have to adapt, but most of the time this almost always works for me because I'm not really working on critical that much. So that's what I've got on uh, the normal core. Attack power, HP plus a new material slot. Okay, subcore one, only the new material slot. Subcore two, I've got everything except for critical hit damage. And subcore three, I've got everything except for critical hit, reprieve, and new material slot. So that's Barrett, guys, his weapon. And Tifa's weapon we're using, Mithril Claws. This is the upgrade tree I've got with her. Slot one, I've got everything. Subcore one, I've got only attack spells, MP cost reduction by 20%. Uh, Subcore 2, we've got everything except for attack power plus 5 with high HP. You know, I can actually buy that now, so I'm going to. Yep, so, okay, so, Subcore sub core 2, I've got everything on that one. And Subcore 3, I've got everything but Reprieve and that final material slot. So that's the weapons, guys. Now onto the build. So Cloud, I've got the um, Chain Bang on with Fury Ring. Um, Barrett got Magician's Bracelet and the Platinum Earrings and Tifa got Geometric Bracelet and the Supernatural Wrist Guards. Now Materia, Cloud, I've got Lightning, very important, Lightning. Uh, I've got both Magic Ups on Cloud because he's sort of my main damage dealer at the moment. I've got First Strike on him, very important, and you want two MP Ups. Um, the higher the better because MP does get quite tight here. Um, Barrett, yeah, you also want to make sure you've got full HP, by the way, uh, full MP. There's a Mako... There's a macro shard in crates just before the boss. So if you're low on MP, you can just keep smashing the box, get the macro shards, saving, reloading that save back, smashing it again, get another MP, save, reload, and keep doing it that way until you fall. But it should be okay. On Barrett, the HP ups, they're not really needed, by the way. I'm just using them, so I need to level them. Yeah, on Barrett, you've got First Strike. You've got um, Leviathan, the summoning one. You've got MP ups, because you need to bring this MP up, and you've got Lightning. You need to have them MP ups on Barrett because this MP goes down pretty quickly. On Tifa, Materia, you got Lightning connected to Magnify. You got Lightning connected to Elemental in your weapon. You got ATB boost, ATB assist, Ifrit, Materia. ATB boost, by the way, you may not need it. It's there as a sort of safety thing just in case you need to fall back on it in case that ATB is not full at a certain point. But I'll let you know about that. She's got MP up as well and she's also got Time and Parry. Time's very important, you really need that max, you need that stop ability on it. Really need everything max that you're using guys here to make this work exactly the same. Right, and that's the builds, let's do this. Yeah, so I'm not going to explain the moveset guys, um, not every one anyway, because it would take quite a while to, you know, explain how to easily dodge it and that. 
Um, but if you've got the same setup to me, this should work almost the same, almost always. Um, I'm hoping so anyway, I'm hoping so, but I can almost consistently do exactly the same thing here. And it's always the same amount, of, same amount of stagger, same amount of pressure, same amount of damage. Almost always, I mean there's slight variations, but almost always works. Right, so first of all with Cloud, Cloud's a leader. So first of all, spells uh, Thunderger, and with right front leg, so Thunderger on the right front leg. That's it, switch to Barry. Open this menu, um, spells Thunderger again. Thunderger, level three Thunder. And you'll use that on the left front leg. And then switch to Tifa. Shoot over there and keep pressing triangle on the left front leg now until she's got a full ATB gauge. And then once she has, you're going to go into spells, Thunderger, turn off Magnify, and use it on the left front leg first. And then straight away, use it again on the left rear leg. Very important. Very important doing back to back as well because with ATB assist, that will give your allies some more ATB as well. And it's right after the teeth is done. Quickly dash over to that left rear leg and keep using triangle to build up your ATB again. And this is what I mean, sometimes Tifa won't quite get full eight, two gauges. Most of the time she does, but not always. So this is why we've done that, just in case. And then first of all, because you're, because you're controlling Tifa, the boss normally always aims with Tifa first, as long as you've sort of been controlling her like I was. Quickly dart across here to this container. And we're going to use ATB boost if you're low. Only use ATB boost if you're not got two full gauges, by the way, guys. Then we're going to Thunderga. Uh, sorry, Thunder Ra. Make sure it's magnified this time. Very important. And then hit Slug Ray B. Once you've done that, switch to Cloud to do a roll. I always like to do a roll just in case this missile barrage about to come to him. Thunderga on the left rear leg. Switch to Barrett. Do a roll away. Spells Thunderga. And now on the right rear leg. Once you've done that, back to Tifa, Spells, Thunderer, and if you've got the Slug Rays, that's great, but if not, aim onto the last Slug Ray. Sometimes you will get all three with that first one, but not always. So what you do with Tifa now, you get that remaining last Slug Ray with Thunder Ra, the second tier Thunder, and once you've done that, you can switch back to Cloud. Switch back to Cloud. Thunderga and onto the right rear leg and then to Barrett and he's going to do the same Thunderga onto the right rear leg and then back to Tifa shoot over to him looks like Cloud didn't actually do it see Cloud's lightning didn't actually hit then I don't know why that happened and then once the boss has been staggered, guys, you need to quickly build up Tifa's ATB gauge with Triangle. And then once you have, you can use Unbridled Strength twice, quickly. And then once you're doing that, quickly switch to Barry and use over um, Overcharge. And switch back to Tifa and keep using Square now. So what I did there, the reason he didn't um, stagger first, by the way, is because when I used my Thunder Go with Cloud, it didn't work for some reason. As you can see, he still had his ATB gauge, but luckily I still managed to get it off. So normally he would have been staggered after Barrett done his Thunder Go. And then you quickly shoot over to him with Tifa. Tifa will keep hitting him with Triangle to build her ATB back up. Once she does, she use Unbridled Strength twice in a row. That will give your teammates some ATB as well. Then you switch to Barry, have him use his Overcharge. And, he sh and then you switch that back to Tifa, and then keep it using square because you don't want to waste her triangle moves now, her rise and fall, which you got for using her unbridled strength. Yeah, you want to keep using square now until the boss enters this last stage. And we need to use the overcharged Barry because you wanted him to have full ATB gauges for this next bit. But you need to make sure you get back to Tifa quickly because you want to be in control of her when you actually trigger the boss's last phase. And it normally triggers this last phase when his health gets just be, uh, just below the B in the crab word, just below the B. Yeah, just below the B in the crab. So here we are, last phase. So again, this Tifa, he's gonna shoot Tifa first with missile barrage. We're gonna quickly shoot to the right and then switch to cloud and use Thundergus. So quickly over here, that's it. Switch to cloud, do a roll. Spells Thunderger, right auxiliary weaponry. Switch to Barry. 
same right auxiliary weaponry and then you want to use Barry again straight after right auxiliary weaponry guys and then quickly switch to Tifa shoot over to near the generator and keep pressing square near the generator and you should stagger him in time that's it and as soon as you've staggered him you should have an ATB gauge guys stop and you stop on the boss very important you be really quick with this once you've done that, keep using your triangles once your boss has stopped. And once you've got two full gauges, oh, <laughs> he's dead already. Um, I didn't expect him to die so quick. But normally in that last phase, guys, when you stagger him, it, his stagger lasts literally for about two or three seconds. You don't get a chance to do anything. But you stop, you, you can stop him during the stagger phase and it stops his stagger. So it staggers him for longer. So instead of him being staggered for three seconds, he's actually staggered for about... 13 seconds with a stop applied to him and then what I do I shoot in there with Tifa I quickly use some triangle attacks you know the rise and fall and the omni strike until she's got full two A to B gauges then I use two full two full true strikes her true strike um, ability because so what that does increases their stagger gauge by 30% and then while she's doing that I sort of um, quick shortcut to cloud and have him use his Thunderger on the boss and normally that will be the boss dead so you do and really you want to do Barrett Lightning then Cloud and then Barrett but I, I always get them mixed up I always go to Cloud first after that last phase you know get Tifa out of the way and then over to Cloud um, but I normally get them mixed up so that way guys that's how to do it it's I know it may sound a bit too complicated how I'm trying to explain that but if you want to do it consistently, you want my build, my setup there, and just try and do it that way. I've tried to pause it along the way to explain it a bit better, but um, I hope it's worked out. So yeah, that's it guys, the Crab Water fight. I hope it helped, and um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.